Good morning. How are you today? Our lesson today about the matter and its changes. From the previous lesson, we studied the matter if there are anything that has mass and volume. Now today, the matter can be found in three states. Number one, solid state, liquid state, gaseous state. Solid state like the wood, ice, iron, sugar, and salt. Liquid state like the water, oil, benzene, and alcohol. Gaseous state like the air, water vapor, and oxygen. Solid state, it has a definite shape and definite volume. Definite equal, not a change. Like the ice. If we try to press by your hands or uh, on iron nails, does the shape change it? Of course it doesn't. Is it any bigger or smaller? Of course not. So it means solid matter, the shape and the volume of solid matter doesn't change. So it means the shape and the volume of solid, solid matter doesn't change. Here we have a question, give reason. Salt is a solid because it has a definite shape and volume. Liquid state, it has an indefinite shape and definite volume. So the shape change and the volume fixed or constant. Here, if we have the water and pour this water in different shapes, container, what do you observe? The water takes the shape of its container, but the volume is definite. Here, liquids take the shape of container. Give reason for, petrol is a liquid. Why the petrol is a liquid? because it has an indefinite shape and definite volume because it has a definite volume and indefinite shape gaseous state gaseous state it has indefinite shape and indefinite volume gaseous state like like what like the water vapor like the air okay if we try to blow a balloon of different shapes and size, like here, the air takes the shape and size of the balloon. So the gaseous state, it has indefinite shape and indefinite volume. Gas takes the shape and volume of container. Give reason for air is a gas. Why the air is a gas? Because it hasn't a definite shape or volume. Changes of matter. We studied, we have three matters, solid, liquid, gas. Can we change from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas? Let's see. If we have the wax and leave it or heat it for some time, it will change from solid state to the liquid state. So this process called this process called melting, melting process. The change of matter from the solid state to the liquid state by heating. From ice to water. This is the example. If we get this water and put it on heater or or uh, uh, or stove. It will evaporate. It will change from liquid state to the gaseous state. What is this process? This process is called evaporation process. The change of matter from the liquid state to the gaseous state by heating. From water to water vapor. Okay. Condensation. If we have the contain container of water and put it on heat and put the cold cover 
on upper. What do you observe? You observe small water droplets. This is called the condensation process, the change of matter from the gaseous state to the liquid state by cooling from water vapor to water, from gaseous into, into liquid. We have some examples of condensation process. Number one, appearance of some water droplets on leaves of plants and cars in the early morning. When you go to the school in the early morning and you observe some water droplets on the upper surface of leaves of plants, due to like this, due to the condensation process. Appearance of some, some water droplets on the cooking pans. When your, your mom cook the food, you observe some water droplets on the upper cover. On the cover. Why? Due to the condensation process. The water vapor transfer or change into water. Change of matter from the gaseous state to the liquid state by cooling. Appearance of some water droplets on a glass of con glass contains ice and left in the air due to the condensation process. Here, freezing process. If you put a bottle containing water inside the freezer, after some time it will transfer from, I uh, from water to ice due to the freezing process. Change of matter from the liquid state to the solid state by cooling from water to ice. We studied that we have four process, melting process, free freezing process, evaporation process, condensation process. Here, so we have solid, liquid. From solid to liquid, we have melting process. From liquid to gas, we have evaporation process. From gas to liquid, we have condensation. From liquid to solid, we have freezing process. It's very important. Here we have some questions, let's see. Give reason for salt is a solid. Why the salt is a solid? Because, yes, excellent. Because it has definite shape and definite volume. Number two. Petrol is a liquid. Why the petrol is a liquid? Yes, excellent. Because it has a dif because it has definite volume and indefinite shape. Why the air is a gas? Why? Because it has a definite shape or volume. Thank you very much.